Hey, Danny, I'm going to try to answer your question with a video, make sure I'm talking about the right thing here. So we got Father Mbu and Mother Mbu and RSE. I'm pretty sure that's self-respect. I wasn't sure which variables were which. So what I did was this. I did a correlation. And so I put these guys in here. And I ran the correlation to make sure I got the same numbers you did. And so, yes, that's it. So Father Mbu to self-respect or self-efficacy, whatever it is. And these are the numbers you got. So negative 2.5 and negative 0.38. So these are the variables I'm talking about. So to answer your question about which either mother or father MU, it would be considered stronger over the other ones when it comes to your <clears throat> self-esteem, what I would do is I would run a multiple regression, and it goes like this. Analyze regression. We always assume linear. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to get it so you can see it. Beep. So I, I moved the variables in order. I'm going to put the self-esteem as the dependent. I'm going to put these two as the independent, right? So this model will tell us which one is a better predictor of self-esteem. And by that, it compares the strength of these two variables as predicting agents for that. But let me go ahead and hammer this stuff out for you. And with this data, I'm just going to check some of the assumptions about a multiple regression. And I apologize about going so fast, but that's just... That's just me these days. I'm like the rain man. So here we go. Here's your regression. There's the mean standard deviations, correlations. You already know those. We don't really worry about that. And don't care about that. But this is a big, this is a big box right here. So your R squared is 0.148. Believe it or not, that is a large effect size, which means your model is a good model. Again, that means at least one of your embus is a good predictor of self-esteem. This says that you can explain 14.8% of the variance in the self-esteem scores by this model. And it is a significant regression, right? That's what the ANOVA tells us. So again, that means you're, you're on the right track. You got something here. But here, right here, is your money box. This will compare your father Embu influence to your mother Embu influence on your DV, on self-esteem. So what you do is you look at the beta weights. Bam, bam. So what this is saying is the father imbu is not significant. That's what this says. It says the mother imbu is the significant player right there. So you got something else going on here. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like the – let me move this over here. You'll notice – so let's take the father imbu. When the mother is not included, the correlation is negative 0.245. So directly between father embu and self-esteem is a negative 2.545 correlation. This is a regular Pearson's correlation. But now when you start weeding out the membu, the mother thing, you notice that the correlation strength drops to practically nothing, right? 0.06 is tiny. It's not significant. So that means that probably the mother is acting as a mediator or a moderator between the relationship of father and self-esteem. So let me let me run that test for you real quick. Hold on. So how I do it is I go through partial correlations. Correlate partial. Boom, boom, boom. And <laughs> so we're going to stick in the relationship between father and self-esteem and we're going to control for the mother imbu okay mathematically controlling it's not the it's not a control group we're mathematically controlling for the mother imbu scores and this will tell us if what's what hold on here <laughs> oh computers how oh, i love them so all right so I think we're on to something here. When we control for the mother Embu scores, 
the correlation between the father's imbu and uh, and his self esteem is not significant. You see that it is not significant when you control for the mother's imbu. So that means you should investigate the mother's imbu scores. The father's has really nothing to do with the self esteem scores. Now I'm, I'm going to show you a trick here. I'm going to reverse these two. I'm going to control the father's imbu. Now, if my theory is correct, even though controlling for the father's imbu, the mother's imbu in SE will still be considered significant. So we're going to go to analyze, correlate, partial, and we're going to switch these guys around. So we're going to control for the father, and this this will give us the correlation between these two, and my prediction is these two will still be significant. And they are, okay? So that's what you got. Your father isn't really much of a predictor here. It's not really the father's imbu that's predicting your self-esteem. It's the mother's. The mother's is either a moderator or a mediator. So real quick, I just wanted to double check to make sure that we did have a moderator or a mediator. I did a few more calculations, and there they are. I ran a Sobel test of mediation, and... It was. It is acting as a mediator. So what that means is that this red arrow, the relationship between father imbu and self-esteem, is not real. Okay, that relationship is not really there. It's this relationship. So there is an indirect effect between father imbu and self-esteem, but it has to go through the mother's imbu, whatever that is. And again, this is the mediator. So it's the mediator that's causing the relationship between these two. And that's it, period. Okay. Again, I hope this helps. MGZ out.